In this video, I'm going to help you to eliminate as much as possible the blurring that you get from temporal anti-aliasing in Fallout 4. Unfortunately, in that game, we don't get very many options when it comes to anti-aliasing. And the one option that's viable, unfortunately, blurs our whole entire image anytime we move. It's very irritating. Now, you can't completely eliminate it. However, you could reduce it to a very high degree. And the program we're going to use is called Reshade Framework. I'm going to put a link to the description of where you can download that. I learned about this program from tweakguides.com. So props to them for that. Once you're done downloading it, just go ahead and make a folder called Reshade. It doesn't have to be that name, but we could just use it. From there, we're going to open up the zipped file. And we're going to drag and drop all the contents of that into that folder we made, Reshade. Okay, go ahead and close that. Open up Reshade folder, and there's going to be an executable in there called Mediator. Double click on that. This EULA will probably pop out on you, so just close that. Now, we need to add the Fallout 4 executable into this program. In case you don't know where to find it, it's in your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Fallout 4. And that's probably in your C program files if you installed Steam to the default location. However, if you didn't or you don't know where it's at, I have a simple way. Just open up Steam and from there, right click on Fallout 4 and then go to Properties and then click on Local Files and then Browse Local Files and then you just click this address bar on the top over here and it'll show you the location of where it's installed. All you need to do is hit Control C to copy that and then close that out. You can close out Steam as well. And then from there, click on Add down here. And let's say you're in another folder. All you have to do is click on File Name right over here and hit Control V. And that'll paste it right on there. Hit Open and it'll take you into the folder of where Fallout 4 Executable is at. From there, you want to click on Fallout 4, not Launcher, just Fallout 4 and hit Open. Then you're going to click on Confirm down here. And make sure before you hit Confirm, I should have mentioned that a little bit sooner, is to click on Direct 3D 10 11 if that's not selected. Then you're going to click Confirm. After that, you're going to hit Add and you're going to wait for it. And then hit Update. And then from there, you're going to close the program and open it up again. And then from there, click this drop down menu, hit Fallout 4. And then from there, we can click on Pipeline right up here. And then what we're going to do is hit the checkbox next to Luma Sharpen and then click on Luma Sharpen itself. That's going to bring you into this sub menu. It's going to look complicated like there's a whole bunch of crap you need to work with, but you don't need to worry about anything other than sharp strength. Grab that and slide it all the way up to 2.50. Now, if you can't get it on exactly 2.50, it doesn't matter. But if you really want to, you could just hit the arrow key and it'll go over one digit. Hit apply. And from there, you can close this program out and then double click on Fallout 4, hit play. And on the top left of your screen, you're going to see a bunch of text. That's pretty much going to come up every single time you start your game. That pretty much tells you that it worked. But however, you should immediately be able to notice that the menu looks more sharper and more clear. However, it may be too sharp or it may not be sharp enough depending on your screen and your sharpness settings of your TV or monitor. So you may want to tweak that or you may want to go back to the program and lower it as needed. But don't do it right when you get to the main menu. Take a look at the game first before you do it. All right, now that we're in the game, you should be able to notice a difference, especially when you walk outside. You're going to notice things look sharper and more clear. You can even see a little bit more detail in the textures. However, the big thing is going to come in whenever you move, you're going to notice less of a blurring effect. There's still going to be some. You're going to be able to look at certain items as you move and you might see the difference when it starts to blur. However, it's going to be heavily reduced. And I'm talking something probably up as high as 80, 90% reduction in the amount of blurring, maybe about 80% reduction. Looks a whole lot better in my opinion, and it's much more enjoyable, and it's not as much of a jarring difference as before. I'm going to put some before and after photos because with YouTube compression, you're not going to be able to notice much of a difference. It's just going to blur out the whole image, and you're probably going to be sitting there saying, what the hell's the difference? So the picture should be able to help you to notice the difference between the two.
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this tip. And before we go, I'm gonna show you how to uninstall it for whatever given reason. If you don't want it attached to your, your Steam game anymore, then this is how you get rid of it. You just click on reshade, open it up again. And then from here on the drop down menu, click Fallout 4, allow it to load, then hit cancel, then delete, and then confirm it. Then update right over here, and then hit delete, and then you can close out on the program. And you should notice the next time you load, it won't be there. Okay, well, I hope this helps you out and it gives a nice positive improvement to your Fallout 4 game. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night.